Hey, I'm with Mike at Premier Pet Supply, and today we are talking about dental health. Not our own, but for our pets. And actually, my family dog, you guys all know Zen, but my parents' dog, Tommy, he's a 14-year-old Goldie Poo, just recently had to have 14 teeth removed. Mm. Uh, and, and, you know, this just happens with age, but now my mom, she wants me to be more careful with Zen's teeth. So what can I do sort of as a preventative measure to make sure Zen is healthy? Sure. Surprisingly, periodontal disease is serious. Yeah. February is pet dental health month, so we oh. need to be conscientious okay. actually all 12 months out of the year, sure. but February in particular. Um, the, the plaque and tartar that forms on the dog's teeth could actually um, lead to bacteria getting into the bloodstream right. and several health issues could result from that. So it's really important. It's not just for them to look good, it also right. helps to offset a lot of issues with, uh, with health. Is there something you could do daily? Yeah, absolutely. So one of the best products that we have, we've always been very proud of selling, is a plaque off powder. Okay. ProDent makes this and all it is is just an enzymatic seaweed. So it's all natural. Oh. It can be added to the uh, cat or dog's food daily. Um, oh, to their put, food. You put it right over their food. Okay. For a cat, sometimes it's harder to mix things into their food because they're mm -hmm. so particular. So mixing right. them with canned food actually is easier. Oh, okay. Helps to disguise that. Okay. What it does is systemically it will help break down the plaque and tartar and prevent it from forming in the mouth. This is one of the safe products. So this is to be a little safer. It's a great option. Okay. Absolutely. So doing that, there's actually um, plaque off also makes bones that you can um, oh. give the dog. Or right, I've seen those. Yeah, and it actually has that in it. And just bones in general. I think there's this misconception that when you chew or, or when the dogs or, or cats are chewing crunchy hard food that they're scraping plaque and tartar. That would be like me telling you eat a bag of pretzels and you don't have to brush your teeth. That's, right. that's not the case. Right, right, right. But when they do chew on bones, they actually are scraping off the plaque and the tartar. The thing though is they're only using their back teeth when they chew. Right. So the show teeth or the canines are the ones that we need to get to. So okay. brushing the teeth is a really good idea. Okay. And while brushing the teeth, cats and dogs cannot have fluoride. That's not right. good for them. They right, can, right, right. Can you can't use sick. your toothpaste on your pet. Exactly. So we want a natural enzymatic toothpaste that's meant specifically for our pets. What do you do if your dog is a little finicky? Because I've tried those like little toothbrushes that you kind of put on your finger yeah. and it, it did not. Zen just ate the peanut butter. It did? Yeah. Would, would he not allow you to brush? No, he just kept licking it and I couldn't get it anywhere. You have to be a mouth. little more diligent. You got to get in there and, and be a little more, uh, you know, uh, assertive. Be the mom? That's it. Be the mom. All you right. Know, I mean, it's, there's a fine line there between being friend and a mom. You have to be a mom sometimes. I got him in my mid-20s. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thanks, Mike. Thank you.